go up on your stage. Yes, I want to invite the PDP band to step out. So for us to hear and for us to hear us, for us to embrace our dear brother, Mr. Spurs, our dear brother, the humility personified, our own Mr. Fresh Air. Gentlemen, 
Let me stand on the established protocol. First, I must pay a special tribute to the leaders and members of our great party PDP. I want to specially appreciate the National Working Committee led by our National Chairman, Dr. Ayute Ayu, and his team. I appreciate the Zona states and the local government leaders around the country for their determination to rescue Nigeria in 2023. Indeed, it is only fit and proper to thank especially the leaders and members of our great party here in Ebony State, led by our Evo Mr. Tochuku Oko, the PDP chairman of the state chapter, who in the midst of all provocations, attacks, temptations, and tribulations continue to stand strong to uphold the umbrella which has always accommodated, uh, accommodated us in a state. My tribute goes to our leaders, His Excellency Senator Ayim Pius Ayim, His Excellency Dr. Sam Ebu, the Senator representing a boy not Senator Manashi, the Senator representing a boy central, Senator Binova, my colleagues in the House of Representatives, Honorable D. Gariway, Honorable Livinus Mapwe, Honorable Sylvester Baga, and Honorable Chukuma Wazunko. Permit me to specially recognize the immeasurable role of our of the Independent National Vice Chairman, South East of the PDP zone, Dr. Ali Odekwa, whose sterling leadership has sustained the party here in Ebony, as well as members of the State Working Committee. I urge my leaders to see the rescue mission of the PDP as a Lauren Corps and the National Assembly to save this country to restore our dignity as a people. Our nation is in their street and requires to revival as the 2023 elections draw nearer. We must commit ourselves towards rebuilding a nation where everyone, irrespective of tribe and tongue, we have a sense of belonging, inclusion, and accommodation. Only this will create the fast spreading ideology of regional agitation, occasioned by the politics of exclusion and marginalization. Life has become necessary and short in Nigeria in the midst of perverse insecurity and failure of government to protest citizens our, our property. Poverty is becoming a norm in Nigeria, as government policies have only impoverished millions and enriched only but a few individuals. Laboratorism and cronism have created a country of some wild, some wild others feel like second-class citizens. Indeed, these are the perilous times in Nigeria and our beloved Ebony State. But today, I come to you today with good news. I come with a package to represent the breath of fresh air, Ikukundo. Say Ikukundo! 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 To rescue a boy state. My fellow Aboyans, by the grace of God, today marks the beginning of our journey to the government house of Akaliki. I, I am inspired to aspire to become the next governor of a boy because I believe. I can effectively lead the charge. Please, please, please. Please, please. Now we can listen to ourselves.
I have aspired to, aspire to become the next governor of Ohio because I believe I can effectively lead the church, the church to rescue upon our beloved state from the abject condition of my people, which always provoke tears in my eyes. Every day I encounter many of our people who are weighed down by avoidable challenges and issues that make me cry. And I have been asking God, please, Give me the opportunity to rescue my people. Just three days ago, it was reported to me that a young man taking his pregnant wife on a motorbike to the hospital over 25 kilometers away for delivery, lost control of the bike and fell down with his wife and then nearly lost the baby. But this could have been avoided if there were nearby health facilities. Last week, I received a call from two Ebonians. One of them is in the state of the summit. He told me that his mega salary could not longer sustain his, him and his family. The other is a petty trader who said that the relocation of our market and his inability to afford a new shop has cost him and his family on both hardship. Yet, Another told me that the constant harassment of government agents in the new market has rendered his business unprofitable. <laughs> These are only a few of numerous problems we have been receiving from some of our people almost on daily basis. I am challenged more by the level of poverty, starvation, joblessness among my people. The samples, this is very, very important. The samples of a boiling state, an army of workers chasing vehicles on the highway of every city in Nigeria. My brothers and sisters, is, this, is that good for us? No! no. This, is a, this is a collective shame to all of us. It's a shame to you, it's a shame to me. It's a shame to any born of a, a, a body state. We have to change it. We have to bring a fresh air that can change our youths, our brothers, our sisters, and for the Through the years, it has been my obligation to address some of these problems because you elected me to the National Assembly to represent you. But despite my efforts to address some of the problems, there is a limitation to what I can do or how I can help as a lawmaker to address the root cause of the problems. As a governor with executive powers, I know I can do more to positively transform the lives of Undeboli. That is my priority. To transform the life of Undeboli. To transform the life of Undeboli. These and many more are the reasons I cannot continue to stay aside removing the faith of our people. This is why I stand here today to inform you that I'm ready to lead the child to restore the dignity of a boy, man, and woman. Yeah. I am bringing a bridge fresh of air, Ikukundo, to your lives and to all sectors. That is the burning passion that has motivated me into the governorship race for 2023. There is no reason why any boy man should not be deprived of his there is no reason why any boy man should be deprived of his peace and livelihood. Is there any reason that we justify that? No. There is no reason why any of my child should be denied education because of school fees. Is it possible? No. There is no reason why civil servants should not enjoy living salary and regular promotions. And finally, there is no reason our retirees should not receive their pension and gratuity as well do. I want to repeat that. 
our mothers and sisters and our husbands for years. What can you say is the reason you should deny them their pension and their, and their gratuity? What is the reason? There is no reason. The only reason is what? Bad leadership. Bad leadership. Indeed, there is no reason why why there should be no employment to fill existing vacancies in the state civil service when there are many unemployed employers, both youths, roaming the streets. There is no reason why lecturers should be denied their legitimate entitlement or health workers not paid what is professionally doing to them. By the size of our state, and the revenue from the federal government and the salary generated. There is no reason why a point state should be classified as the poverty capital of the southern Nigeria, with the worst health indices in the southeast. The resources of a point should belong to all a point. But before, our resources is our resources. It belongs to me, it belongs to you. We are equal in our resources. Thank you. I am aware of the hard, I am aware of the harsh taxation in our state. I am also aware of the agony and suffering confronting many of those displaced with the location of our market and, and the position of the building material at the spare in Dole. I am very aware too that many schools and hospitals are not functioning and that there is urgent need for qualified staff in our schools and health institutions. I know that many of our brothers and children are not in school because their parents could not afford to pay their school fees and they resort to street walking to market to make ends meet. I was the reason why we are coming on board. We are coming on board because we want to remove completely our children out of street hockey. When you're supposed to be in school, you will see our sons and daughters hawking at the streets of every town. We want to reduce that. Thank you. I know that there is a hunger in our state. I know that many families go to bed without food, and it's a very bad one in our state. I'm aware of the insecurity in our state and the attendant communal crisis. Today, I bring you good news. I have come to lead the child to rescue a boy state and bring a breath of fresh air, Ikukundo, for the people of a boy. to bring the gap between the poor and the rich. I have come to bring the gap between the poor and the rich. There will be no rich man in every state. There will be no poor man in every state. You will not know the difference. I have come to return every state to the era of prosperity, stability, and peace. On assumption duty, on assumption of duty as a governor, our administration will declare state of emergency on job creation, education, health, social investment, and security. My distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our delegates, our distinguished delegates, are you here? Can you hear me? Turn off your engine. We are going to have eight points agenda. Our administration will be on top of eight points agenda focused on a good government. 
economic growth, restoration of peace and security, social investment. We shall also prioritize education, health and well-being, agriculture, strengthening of the civil service and local government system, and infrastructure and industrial development. We shall specifically and comprehensively focus on one, global government, to run open, accessible, and accountable government at the state and local government system. Number two, education. Where every citizen of a state will enjoy free, compulsory, and qualitative education from primary to junior secondary school levels that will make them relevant and employable in the 21st century. Health and well-being. To provide free, accessible, and quality health care to every employee. Job creation, number four. To fill all vacancies in all sectors of government and encourage apprenticeship and entrepreneurship. Number five, social investment. To support the aged, both old and women, the, the disabled, like one of them that just made a speech here, and every other social investment in a boy state. Number six, agriculture. We shall turn agriculture into a business venture and move it away from recently through large care farming and set up social agro industrial processes zone focused on ag focused on rice, cassava, maize, and etc. Number seven, security and peace. Peace and security are the most essential ingredient for development. My dear Abaya, my dear Abaya, is there peace in Abaya State? No. I will bring that to you people. Okay. We shall take measures to restore peace and security across the state. Number eight and the final. Industrial development. Our administrators have set up industrial zones in each of the two geopolitical zones of a Bay State to create job opportunities. Each of these development agenda has received elaborate attention in our manifesto and we intend to ensure the full implementation when elected into office. Everybody is home for all, and our administration will promote policies that will give every law-abiding resident in the state a sense of belonging. Whether you are from a police state, whether you are from Kotonou, whether you are from uh, Lagos, whether you are from Rivers, as you are a, a law-abiding citizen, we are going to we are going to live in peace with us. My dear brothers and sisters, our party requires the services of a just and compassionate leader who has what it takes to reclaim the mandate freely given to us by our people. However, our state is not for sale for the highest leader. Delegate! 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 Let me repeat it again. Oh. However, every state is not for sale. Every state is not for what? To the highest bidder. Every state is not for sale to the people that go outside their body to go and borrow. Every state cannot be mortgaged again. My dear delegates, my dear delegates, I always say, and I will repeat it here today. Thank God, I am always thank God that all the people aspiring to be governor under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the state, are the people that have tested 
you have been either former this or present this. Am I lying? Use our past record to judge us. Use our past records to judge us. If you are a counselor and you didn't perform well in your work, even if you are a president, you can never perform well. If you are a counselor and you performed well in your work, if they gave you a governor, you will perform well. So my, my people, my delegates, this statement is directed to you, not for everybody that is here. Let us trade with caution. Let us believe in our future. Let us believe in our children's future. So that everybody can be saved again. Our party requires a leader with a grand game driving by the people at the grassroots. We need a leader who has the common touch with the people. I believe I am that leader. I have been doing my best for our people. Since you gave me, since you gave me mandate into the National Assembly, and I tend to do more, much more, if given the mandate to be your governor in 2023. Remember, please remember, everybody is one. Am I correct? Yeah. I am not aspiring to be a zonal governor of the north, the central, or south geopolitical zone. I am aspiring to be the governor of a body state. To rescue a body from this prison today. To rescue a body from its present bondage. And my dear delegates, my dear delegates, Honorable Anna, you are a green one, Anna Tet. I'm here by offer myself to go for you. Do you accept me? Yeah. Do you accept me? Yeah. Dear delegates, dear delegates, give me our party's flag to go for you. Give me our party's flag to go for you. I will not disappoint you. I have not disappointed before. I cannot disappoint now. I have not disappointed before. As I know people, have I disappointed you before? No. Instead of people, have I disappointed you before? No. And by the people, I will not disappoint you people. Thank you for listening. May God bless the people, uh, Democratic Party. May God bless every state. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you and God bless you.